Hey everybody, I wanted to show you guys the latest design for how we're going to integrate the Logitech stylus into Shapes XR. So this is not my first design for this. I had a bunch of other ones I'll show you. Uh, I first thought it'd be cool to have um, the icons be separate so it doesn't interfere uh, with pushing on it. But then I realized when I'm really holding this, uh, once I got this into Shapes, I was like, oh, I can't even see that most of the time. And if I'm holding it like this, it's sideways. So that's not good. Um, so I just did this one interaction just to see how that felt. Um, and then I tilted it up a little bit to see if I could get that off of my hand so it wouldn't kind of like interfere with my hand so much. Nah, nah, still didn't like that. So then I tried it on its side. Um, I like this a lot better, uh, but I still don't like how kind of secondary it is or how how it like adds another object I have to deal with uh, so I much prefer this where I can just focus on the controller itself and the icons uh, I don't have to have like a second uh, you know a second element so this is much more minimal uh, and I also liked just bringing up the our standard tooltips we didn't have to like create a new type of tooltip like these ones are are a little different uh, than our standard tooltips. Even though I do like this, this is quite clean. This is not the real deal. This is just a prototype. I was able to hook up all the interactions that I wanted. I want. I was able to, when I press these buttons with my hand, um, I was able to hold down or to go to another stage and annotate and augment uh, the controller with these glowing buttons. Um, I was able to uh, dial in the haptics. So now you can't feel this, but I can feel a nice haptic response when I press and when I release on this thing. Um, and I was e even able to set these billboarding items, like the tooltips, uh, to be pointing at me um, no matter what angle. So I was able to set these you know, in a particular position uh, and set the forward angle to be pointing at me. Uh, and I was even able to do that with this a tool switcher. So this isn't, you know, the real interaction for the tool switcher, but I was able to get uh, pretty far uh, just to simulate switching between the draw tool and the select tool. Um, and even have the meta button on there. Anyway, but yeah, so that's the design process as well as uh, our design uh, for what we're doing. So anyway, bye everybody.